another what we eat in a day video. I feel like we need a theme song for these. Shall we work on that? Anyways, I just made my coffee as you guys saw. Uh, I'm not super hungry yet, so I'm going to wait on breakfast a bit. Um, and I think I'm gonna have some yogurt and granola this morning. I've been on a yogurt kick, so when I get around to that here in a little bit, I'll show you guys what yogurt I'm loving. All right, now it is coffee time for me. <laughs> Ashley's in the background. <laughs> That's where she sits every morning. I picked Norway mug this morning. That's what I'm feeling. This is one of my all-time favorite ones, in case you didn't know. And then I think I'm going to make this coffee. So this is the Target brand, and it says it's naturally flavored with cinnamon, and it's really, really good. You did a different one, didn't you? I think I did the espresso blend, mm -hmm. but I like this one's that one a lot. Really, really good. Yeah, it's just the Target <laughs> brand and the. Keurig. How do you say that? Do you say Keurig? I say Keurig. I don't know. I don't know what's right though. I'm just gonna make that and then I will have breakfast later. Alright, so I've been in full-on Jackson Hole planning mode that I completely lost track of time. It's now 10.38 and I haven't eaten breakfast yet. I usually get ready to go to the gym right now, but that's gonna have to wait. Um, so I actually went to the store yesterday, we both did, and I didn't pick up any breakfast stuff, so it's like have really slim choices. So I'm going to have oatmeal because that's one of the only things I have. I have this instant oatmeal. This is um, gluten-free, home-style flavor. Um, the brand is Nature's Path. I don't. You can't really read it. It's pretty hard to read. Um, so I'm just gonna cook that in the microwave. And then I always put in some cinnamon and then I put in a scoop full of peanut butter for some protein, and then I always have an applesauce on the side. This is just like a cinnamon applesauce. So that's my lame little breakfast, but that's really all I have. It's not very pretty, but that's the final product. Um, and this applesauce is just from Trader Joe's. That's why it doesn't have any like branding on it. How you doing, Ash? <laughs> She's busy. Poppy's right there. <laughs> Still dead asleep. Breakfast time for me now. I'm having yogurt. I've really been enjoying this Nusa brand yogurt in a few different flavors. I actually haven't had the raspberry one yet. You can see there's like fruit on the bottom. I'm on a yogurt kick, but I try not to eat too much of this because there is a lot of sugar in it. I like the raspberry one. I like the honey one. I like the blueberry one. And I also like a lot of granola in my yogurt, which again is not super healthy so I try not to do it that much but that's what I'm doing today because it's a Monday and I just need a little happiness so I'm gonna do this granola the brand is purely Elizabeth this flavor is chocolate sea salt plus peanut butter granola so you know super healthy granola <laughs> this one it actually isn't that bad six grams of sugar four grams of protein in there because of the nuts. I mean, there could be worse, but again, this isn't like an everyday thing. I think the combination of the chocolate peanut butter and the raspberry is gonna be really yummy. So that's gonna be my breakfast. <laughs> just showered and washed my hair. Ashley's at the gym now, so I'm going to prepare lunch. So I'm gonna make the smoothies for both of us. Um, I don't think it has changed at all since the last time we filmed this, how I do the smoothies, just raspberry, blueberry, pineapple, um, protein powder, spinach, um, almond milk and water. So that's the smoothie. And then for lunch, I'm going to have um, kind of like a little like board of stuff. I'm gonna make some avocado toast, um, hard-boiled eggs, these sweet potato crackers from Trader Joe's, which are so good, and then these kale chips from Trader Joe's, which are so good. I love these, so I'm gonna have like half the bag of this. Um, and then I also wanted to talk about this water really quick, um, because in our grocery haul video, we talked about the pineapple one. Um, so then we went to Trader Joe's yesterday, and I saw this star fruit like flavored water, and I was like, I've got to try this. And I actually 
really, really like it. I think I might like it better than the pineapple. So just wanted to give you a little tip on that. Forgot to say that I also put a little bit of maca powder and a little bit of flaxseed meal in the smoothies as well. Right, we can't forget Pop Pop's blueberries. Is that tasty? Hope you enjoy. All right, so this is my finished lunch. I have my avocado toast. I topped it with crushed red pepper and nutritional yeast because I saw somebody do that yesterday and it sounded so good. I always put the red pepper, but I haven't put the nutritional yeast before. Um, then I have my kale chips, two hard boiled eggs, the little three seed sweet potato crackers, my smoothie, and then you know I can't end a meal without something sweet. So I have a few um, dark chocolate covered almonds here to end my lunch with. I'm super excited about this. Hey, uh, what was the last thing I filmed? My breakfast. So I went to the gym, I came back, Shelby had made me a smoothie. Uh, she probably showed you. If not, I had a smoothie, because I don't think I filmed it. Um, it's afternoon now, and I just made myself an iced coffee. I just made brewed coffee in the Keurig, uh, put it in the fridge to cool off for like 20 minutes, and then put it in this glass and added a little bit of almond milk and a couple of ice cubes. So, I'm going to enjoy that. I'm not super hungry after the protein smoothie, so I don't think I'm going to have another snack, at least at this point. Shelby talked about making like a little appetizer, like early evening, so I might wait and save my snacking to then. So I'm going to go drink my iced coffee, do some more work, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so it's actually 5 o'clock now, and I, for the past like two hours, have started getting a really bad headache. Um, I've done kind of like all my measures to get rid of it. I, have, I use like peppermint oil um, on my head. I've taken even a leave because that's what works best for me when I have headaches. Um, I've had a lot of water. Nothing seems to be helping. It's not like a full-on migraine yet, but I can tell if I don't like get rid of it, it's gonna be bad and I don't have time for that. So even though it's five o'clock, I'm gonna make um, a coffee. Hopefully more caffeine helps. A lot of times adding more caffeine is kind of like the next best thing for me. Oops, that's still my lunch paraphernalia. I haven't put away. I've been so busy. Um, on Instagram and planning stuff for all of our trips. So uh, I'm gonna take a break really quick, drink coffee and just let my like brain relax for a second and hopefully that'll help. All right, so I drank my coffee and my head's still kind of hard. So I'm hoping now that eating is going to help. Um, Ash and I are about to sit down and have one of our um, weekly meetings. We have two meetings a week. Um, we're gonna have one now. It sounds so serious. It's just about like businessy stuff in the vlog and social media and everything like that. Um, so I'm going to make us this spinach and artichoke dip to have during our meeting. It's from Trader Joe's, it's frozen. It comes like this and you just heat it in the microwave for like four minutes and then it's cooked and I thought we could um, dip these in it. These are quinoa and black bean infused tortilla chips. I thought they would be good so. That's what we're gonna have. Shelby made the dip. You said what it was, right? Mm hmm So we're gonna eat some of that. I have this Trader Joe's water that we both like. You probably talked about yours today. This is the pineapple one. Shelby's been liking the star fruit. It's really good. I really liked it, actually. Ah! I will get it again. What? You don't need spinach artichoke dip. Uh, so we're gonna have our little meeting and have our appetizer and then, uh, OMG, I have more work to do. Dinner time now. So I'm having leftovers tonight. I made this a couple nights ago. I was trying to hold it up. It is this, which was like a frozen skillet meal that I picked up at Whole Foods. I don't even remember the brand, but it's like sweet potato. Was it like Frontera? Frontera? Is that a brand? 
Um, it's the first time I've ever had it, but I actually really liked it. It's sweet potato, green beans, plantains, some black beans, and like a chipotle sauce. So I'm gonna have that in these gluten-free tortillas with a little bit of this vegan mozzarella cheese. So kinda like burrito wrap taco things. Um, that's gonna be my dinner. I'm gonna make mine in a minute. Pop up and I are just chilling on the couch because the exterminator came and so she can't go down and she's very frustrated. We don't have a bug problem in New York, in our apartment building. The exterminator comes like once a month. It's just like a precautionary thing. So I don't want you guys to think that we have a problem <laughs> or we're dirty or gross. It's not that. Actually, I haven't seen a bug in very, very long time. Well, I've seen two bugs in this apartment the entire like eight months we've been. Yeah, it's not a prevalent bug problem. Now, when we were downstairs on the first floor, that was a different story. Um, all right, so I'm gonna heat this up then. Shelps is gonna make her dinner. Okay, so for my dinner, I'm making kind of like a hodgepodge of things. I'm going to make this butternut squash triangoli from Trader Joe's because it's one of my favorites. It's basically a butternut squash ravioli. It's um, filled with butternut squash. The pasta's not butternut squash. Not like Ashley's that she made a couple days ago. I think she filmed that. I'm not quite sure. Um, and then I'm going to have that with um, some cauliflower rice some shaved Brussels sprouts, and then some of these sweet potato ribbons that are from TJ's, and these are so easy to cook and my favorite thing ever. So I just season all the vegetables with this 21 seasonings from Trader Joe's, and it's perfect. So I'm gonna make that, and then I'll show you how it turns out after it's done. Right, and this is my finished dinner. I just put a little bit of that chipotle cheese I've been having um, on top of the vegetables. And then I just tossed um, the butternut squash pasta in this, which is like a vegan soy-free butter, just to give it so that it's not so dry. But I'm very excited to eat this. So I picked these up from Trader Joe's when we were there yesterday. They were milk chocolate, peanut butter cups. I really wanted the dark chocolate ones, but they were out. But I'm gonna have two of these little guys for dessert. We definitely forgot to end the video last night. Oh, yep. But um, before I edit it, just wanted to pop in and say that I hope you enjoyed it. Look at Pop Pop. <laughs> Do you want a bonus what we eat in a day? They the coffee next day, the next morning. Start with coffee. <laughs> Nobody knew that was ever gonna happen, did they? Not at all. <laughs> but if you did enjoy this video, please give us a big thumbs up. <laughs> Make sure you're subscribed. You can click on our faces right there. And you can watch our latest video right there. We'll see you guys next time. Bye!